Can scoliosis be corrected with exercises? One common question I get asked when consulting patients with scoliosis is, can my scoliosis be corrected with exercises? Or even another question is, can, it be pro can progression be stopped with exercises? And these are all valid questions. In order to understand these answers and how scoliosis can be affected by exercises or even improved with exercises, we kind of talk a little bit about what scoliosis is. Is it a curable condition? And it's not. Scoliosis, you can't ever, ever correct it or, or cure it completely. You're always just managing scoliosis because when scoliosis occurs, it affects the physical structure of the spine. It's a, it's a structural spinal condition that occurs normal time during growth. And since it progresses during growth, patients grow with this curve. And the fact that they have grown towards with this curve, it, their whole body has grown and developed with a curvature in it. So we're always just working at controlling and reducing the, the scoliosis. Even the most invasive treatments out there like spinal surgery and fusion don't cure scoliosis. They're just managing the curve and reducing it. They're not curing it because we, in most cases, we don't know what's causing it. So we're managing the curve during this time. And one of the big things that scoliosis affects, especially as it progresses, is something that we call spinal flexibility. Spinal flexibility is what the spine should have. Normally when the spine moves and, it's by, and the patient moves, the spine will bend and flex as they move. And it does it symmetrically, relatively symmetrically on both sides. And this is a patient with no scoliosis. As they breathe and as they respirate and as, they, as their organs function, the spine is always giving and expanding and flexing and that's normal motion. However, when scoliosis occurs, it affects the structure of the spine in such a way that it creates this asymmetrical curvature. This asymmetrical curvature um, creates something that we call spinal rigidity. Spinal rigidity is something that the spine becomes stiff or stiffer, so when patients actually bend, especially as they're bending, trying to bend out of the curve, the curve remains. So if the person has literally like a right thoracic curve, they would bend to the right, but their curve still bends this direction as they're bending this way, it doesn't totally come out, meaning their spine isn't flexible. It has a rigidity component that the scoliosis remains no matter which way they move or bend. Proactive treatments are really trying to manage this spinal rigidity and progression that occurs as curves become larger. And that's one of the most important things when we're looking at preventing scoliosis progression and the influence of what exercise could have on scoliosis treatment. So is a good scoliosis treatment, does it include exercise? Of course it does, but there's two very specific types of exercises. There's something that we call general exercises. And these general exercises are exercises that you do for general health, like cardiovascular exercise, strength building exercises, flexibility-based exercises like yoga or Pilates. And these are for general health. As far as we know, general exercise, general health, yoga, Pilates, weight training, cardiovascular training, none of those things will have any impact on your curve. Meaning if your curve is progressing, it's progressing. Doesn't matter how strong you are. Doesn't matter if you're, if you're a little bit weaker, a little stronger, doesn't matter how fit or unfit you are. The progression has nothing to do with those factors. It has to do with how you're growing and the causative factors that actually initiated your curve uh, um, during your growth factors and how much you how fast you grew during your growth stages with the number one factors that lead to progression. However, there are different types of exercises. There's something called scoliosis specific exercises. Scoliosis specific exercises, what we call SSE. Scoliosis specific exercises are exercises that are prescribed to a patient that are designed for their curve type, meaning specifically, and they're designed to help reduce the curve and nothing else. They're not really designed to improve your cardiovascular training and improve your strength training, even though they may improve your muscle tone and those kinds of things, but they're more specifically designed for your curve type to try to produce a result in the curve. Okay. Now, unfortunately, like I mentioned, as curves become stiffer, they become harder to exercise because in the normal movement of that person's spine, they can only produce so much change because their spine is stiff, meaning they only can exercise so well. For example, if I wanted to exercise my bicep muscle, let's say, but I had a super stiff elbow that didn't have full range of motion, I only can exercise this muscle so well because I can't bend my arm. Same thing, it comes true when it comes to scoliosis exercises, even the specific scoliosis exercises, they're limited in how much they can do based upon how flexible or, or how rigid the spine is. So can 
exercise, specific, even specific scoliosis exercise, can they cure my scoliosis? No, scoliosis requires a very integrative approach. And first of all, we know that scoliosis is incurable, it's manageable and reducible. And scoliosis specific exercises is only one part of the treatment. Meaning, if I wanted to go back to my example, we're exercising my bicep, one exercise with my bicep, and I have a very stiff elbow, and I only can do limited exercises with my arm because of the stiffness, I would have to improve flexibility of the motion of my joint first before my exercises would be effective for my arm. And that's the same thing true when it comes to scoliosis. It's, that's why exercises specifically, scoliosis specific exercises, are only one facet of the scoliosis treatment. One big factor is trying to improve, improve the flexibility of the scoliosis itself, make it more flexible so it can actually respond to any exercises that you perform. So this is typically we call a intensive type of treatment or in-office therapy where we're using specific chiropractic care, we're using traction devices and machinery, equipment to help us make the curve more flexible so the exercises can become more effective at home. Secondarily is exercises can also affect bone structure. Meaning a lot of times with scoliosis, the rib structure will actually change shape. The person will have different ribs, uh, rib, rib arches and rib dimensions, left versus right. So therefore this asymmetrical rib dimension will also affect the ability to exercise. It's meaning exercises can't bend bone. They can't bend ribs or move ribs back in the right place. They can only work with muscles. So even if you had exercises that were, could reduce the curve, if you don't change the rib dimension or the way the ribs are aligned, the spine or the, or the ribs will pull the spine back to where it is. So this is where corrective bracing has a big, a big play because it can help mold the ribs back into a better position. So if you can improve flexibility with this, uh, this in-office therapy or rehabilitation to improve flexibility, and then you can change the rib structure with a very good corrective style braces, actually improving the ribs and derotating the rib structure. Now exercises can play a big part because they can help strengthen the muscles um, along with all the other two components. But if I just were using exercises and I wasn't improving flexibility and I wasn't changing the rib structure, you can see now exercises will have a much limited approach to trying to deal with scoliosis itself. Exercise alone, meaning if I just were using exercises, but even if there were scoliosis specific exercises, I would be very hesitant to just use that in curves anything greater than 20 degrees. Because when you start getting to 20, 25, 30 degrees, we know the other two components must be included to get a reduction in the curve to give it the best outcome. So even though I'm a big, a big proponent of scoliosis specific exercises, I, I understand their limitations and I understand where they have to fit in the, in the proper scoliosis treatment with the other three components that I mentioned, meaning the in-office therapy, the home therapy, and the corrective bracing to deliver the best outcome. So if you're looking for an exercise approach to help you with scoliosis, make sure that you are getting the complete program Otherwise, you could just be doing home ex exercises, really delivering no specific outcome to your scoliosis. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this information helpful. If you'd like to hear about other topics and information on scoliosis, type in the comments below and let us know. And finally, subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified of when we publish content. Thanks.